So I'm going to do a, this is going to be a trial class. I'm just going to purely experiment and I'm going to record it just in case it turns out to be anything interesting. I'll have it on video. I'm using alcohol inks and I'm using graphics paper. It comes in a pad of 9 by 12 sheets, DuraBrite on Amazon. It's a synthetic paper made for alcohol ink. I always wear gloves when doing alcohol inks because they stain like crazy. So have your gloves. And I blew up a glove, tied off the fingers and cut it just so they wouldn't be in my way. I don't have a balloon around. So I wanted to try playing with this with the balloon. And I'm using some pinata alcohol inks. I've got purple, magenta, bright colors. Let's do Baja Blue. You can use brass or this is um, Ranger Alloy. So another one kind of like brass. I'm sure any of them would work. I have white. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. I have 91% alcohol in a needlepoint bottle and I have a blower and a straw in case I decide to blow. This is a Tim Holtz puffer and then I have uh, the alcohol ink blending pen and solution which come as a set. I may or may not use those. I'm going to just kind of wing it and see how it goes. So right here I have just a piece of parchment paper. You could use plastic or what have you. And what I'm going to do is just put a little puddle of alcohol and just drip some colors down. I have no idea what this is going to do. I'm going to circle around it with alcohol. It, see, it's probably already turned into mud. I'm not sure. Put a little gold on there. Interesting effects. Really kind of pretty. Now, the purple is and magenta have definitely taken over. I'm on a puppy pad because you don't want this on your work table surface. It will definitely stain if you're not careful. So you can kind of repress to get that gold to kind of puddle. That's pretty. I think I'm going to dry that really fast. I've just got uh, it's a Revlon dryer and uh, it has a cool setting so you don't heat your paper and make it kind of curl up. Okay, I'm wondering if I can layer this. So with white and then the alloy. I'm not going to put any alcohol. I'm just going to go straight with that. Dip it and see what happens. So not a lot is happening with the white. Let's try some Baja Blue. I'm going to put it right here. I might put it on my paper. Let me move the paper out of the way while I do this. So the Baja Blue. Mm, just a little bit of alcohol. Maybe a few drops of white in the blue just for kicks and giggles. And the alloy. I'm going to move it off the surface just so you can get my paper back in here. It's 
really cool. I'm going to make another petal, do the same thing. The Baja. I don't even think I'm going to add the white this time. Let me just see if that works. It's neat to see the reaction on the paper. You can see it kind of moving. It's really pretty. color. I'm going to put a little alcohol with it this time. really a lovely background. I think I'm going to stop right there. So it's muted. Obviously you would pick colors that harmonize. If I think if you picked like complementary colors or whatever you're going to have some mud. Um, but that's really lovely. I dare just do gold. Move this all the way. That alloy is so pretty. Add a little alcohol with it. And it'll pick up some of the alcohol ink that's on the paper, I guess, what's ever there. I'm going to try stamping just the gold. straight gold. I don't really like that part in there. I'm going to just... Now it's leaving little dots through it and I actually like that a lot. Like a textured look. I'm just stamping the gold randomly. Can you see that little bit of texture? So it almost has a otherworldly underwater kind of feel to me. Let me try my blending pen. some edges that are kind of hard lines. You know, the blending solution has a totally different effect than alcohol or anything. 
I don't want to, I don't know if I want to do too much of it. It kind of brightens the color. I'm barely touching the page because the stuff will come out really fast and heavy. You don't want big puddles and like big circles, I don't think. This here is kind of dark, so I'm going to try to brighten it up a bit. Kind of go through this gold a bit because it's heavy. So now, I'm just, I'm going to go with what I'm feeling. I want to maybe use gold and do a design or something on it. I want to spray it first with Kmart varnish. It's really lovely, the, the colors. If the sheen, if you can't see it well because of the sheen, the Kmart varnish will probably help it a lot. But do you see that? How it, the colors shift with the way you hold it. So I'm going to stop the video and spray with Kmart varnish. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have different gold pens. I actually really like this uh, deco color, and this is the, the really small nib. Um, usually for larger pieces I use the chisel tip, but this is the smaller tip. And I think I just want to go with some designs. Okay, I'm gonna switch gears. I'm going to go floral. I see um, kind of a, a floral thing in this. So I'm just going to tape it a bit to something more solid so I have a solid surface. I'm going to see if I angled it a bit if there would be less sheen for you. Okay, now I think I'm going to add or subtract a little color just to make there be more dimension in the, the design, I think. So, these little cups, and I just use one that's similar to whatever color I'm using. So, let's just say I've got a purple cup, I'm going to put some alcohol in it. And first try this. That was just going to be to see if I could lighten it. And that's not because it's got the Kmart varnish on it. <clears throat> so that tells me that um, I need to either add or subtract with actual color. So I think I'm going to try to add a drop or two of white. This looks kind of pinky, but we'll see. 
I don't want to ruin it. And that's not really doing anything either, so. Just wipe that off. I'll go with the white. And just see if I can paint it on. Let me make sure that this is rinsed out the color. This is not a good brush. Now, if I don't care for this, I'm not going to move forward with it. Let's just say that. So that's totally removing the uh, paint, the alcohol ink down to the paper. I'm not sure that's really what I want to do. I'm actually going to just dab this, put a little purple on my brush. Try to add that color back. Maybe a little Baja Blue mixed in with the purple. And let's see what color we come up with on this. Now, let's just try it. So I can use it kind of like a shadow. So I'm going to go and add it in. Some areas where I want it deeper. Okay, now I want to try a little alcohol just to see. I'm just going to drip it onto my brush. If I add it to the ends of my brush strokes, what happens? It just waters it down and softens those brush strokes a bit. Now I'm going to do the blue. go to the leaves. I'm going to drip a little alcohol into it. Let's just see. It's really, really strong. I'm going to try to water it down a bit with the alcohol. It's just like a wash. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the alloy to this just to see what happens. Is it like a greenish gold? on some of these. I'm 
maybe not all of them, or just down a little ways to kind of blend into that turquoise color. Rinse this out. Just with alcohol. I'm going to take my blending pan and see what this does, if anything. Doesn't do a whole lot because of the Kmart varnish until you really get down to the paper. So, I think I'm going to dry this. So these are Uniposca paint pens and they're the uh, the larger nib like here's these are large and then there's one that's smaller that has um, more of a fine point for fine detail so this would be the purple color and this is like a turquoise blue I'm gonna try and you just press down to kind of get it going I'm gonna see if I can come outside of the flower a little bit and highlight Now, if I had not sealed it with Kmart varnish, it would be bleeding, the alcohol inks would be bleeding through it. So just keep that in mind. However you want to do it, whatever shapes. You see a different design in your piece once you put your alcohol inks and smash the balloon, then Embrace those and go with it. I just put my hand in the, the paint over here. I'm going to wipe that and redo it. Luckily, because the Kmart varnish is on there, it's wiping off. <coughs> show you up close but actually this piece would have been really pretty just to have left it alone the way it was I think as an abstract kind of piece this is just me playing like I like to do just to see what I can do with it but um, if you do something and really love it and it looks beautiful and abstract then just leave it by all means go wild with it and go with the white so this is the smaller one with the, the more uh, point edge versus the bigger nib if you can see those go back and just touch up some gold lines.
Okay, so this is something totally different from what I would normally do. But fun to always play and experiment. Um, I think I need to add a little purple back there. But kind of wonky and abstractish and different. So, put a little alcohol in this purple and see if I can get any purple out. And then rinse my brush. The alcohol inks, it's, it's kind of like um, fluid art. You just kind of have to do give and take and push and pull and um, just kind of see what happens. So there it is. And then when I spray it with the gloss spray, that'll also make those colors pop again. But of course you'll see the metallics from, you know, a different angle, that kind of thing. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something interesting with this. And, okay, I wanted to show it to you with the gloss on it so you could just see the, that's just one coat and I'd probably do another one because it's UV protectant and uh, archival so the first time after you want after you want to cover your alcohol inks to do any kind of uh, paint pens or detailing on top so that it doesn't bleed through and there was a little bit of bleeding use this Krylon Kmar varnish and that will set it pretty much and then after you totally finish it and let it dry then you want to use the Krylon UV Archival Varnish Eyes Gloss and that uh, helps with fading because uh, alcohol inks do fade and so um, I always end with the Archival UV Gloss Spray. So those are the two that I use for that. And I'll put a link to all the products that I used so that you can have access to it if you want any of it. Thank you again. Bye-bye.